grab another bag. And you'll let me know which one's extra? Yes, I will. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm using a number four tip and white frosting. That's royal? That's royal icing, and I did not, um, I did not thin it down. It's just the normal stiff consistency. You could probably thin it down a little bit so it flows a little better, actually. Maybe I will. So you don't need it stiff, you, you, you know, stiff, stiff for doing this. You want a little bit of it to be a little softer because um, it will get rid of any like points or anything. Um, dog tails, I guess you call them. So I'm going to thin this because this is, you know, this is stiff stuff. See, it's yeah. really stiff. They would call that stiff, stiff. Yeah, it's, it's stiff. I'm trying to get a, uh... see, it doesn't droop at all. <laughs> Shake it, doesn't droop at all. It's that stiff. So we're going to soften it just a little bit to do, to do a soft peak. And that way it'll be easier to pipe. So I'm just going to add a few drops of water to this. It was probably an eighth of a teaspoon. Hopefully that wasn't too much. If it was, I got more white to stiffen it up. You can never go wrong. And then we want soft peak. Okay, so soft peak. See how nice and creamy it looks? Ooh, pretty. Kind of like whipped cream. And then see how that peak goes over just a little bit? Mm -hmm. Everyone see the little peak? It's not, it goes over. That's soft peak. See? Yep. Okay, soft peak. Perfect. That's what you want. That's what we want. Okay. Everyone Excellent. okay on that? Okay, so what we're going to do is the rails. Our Yummy Pals are commenting on the mason jars. Oh, the mason I jars? Thought about, you know, because it's so easy to, you can get it really clean with no grease. Absolutely. I use, and cool. then you know what this, you know what this is? No, what is it? What is it? Hang on. It's, it's a brand name, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, but I mean, that's my, it's my jelly, it's a jelly jar that I, you know, when I buy my, yeah. when I buy my jelly, I just save it because it's a glass jar and it works beautifully. That's great. So. Yeah, so mason jars. My sister makes her own um, j jellies, jams and jellies. Yeah. And so that's where I love these little guys. The little tiny ones come from. There you go. Isn't that neat? Okay. Great so, idea. Okay. I thought everybody did that. They will now. They will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to do the rails, and, and I've, I have, there's like little curly cues in here. What number tip is that? I'm sorry. This is a number four. Number four. Okay. okay, and then I'm gonna. You're just following the cookie. I'm just following outline. the cookie. Okay, not very well. You can see I was a little shaky there. I wasn't using my hand to help me out. I'm just gonna clean it up so yeah. it looks prettier. With that damn yeah, if you're not, if you're not you know, the best piper in the world. Like I said, the, okay. the paintbrush is your friend. So you just went right straight onto the cookie. Yeah, I just went right straight onto the cookie. In the center of the... In the center of the cookie. Of the lines, yeah. Yep, and I have a little dog tail there, so I'll just tap that little guy down. You don't like dog tails. There's another one there. Just tap it with a damp brush. Anywhere you've got frosting that's not behaving. Okay. Anything special about that damp brush? We got water on it. There you go. <laughs> Hence the damp part of the <laughs> damp brush. The, yeah, yeah, that would okay. be it. So your basic brush and then. Yep. Okay. Okay, and this is a silicone mat, so even when I lift it up, it just comes, it just comes out. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's silicone. It just comes right out. And normally I don't let it cool quite that long. Normally I'll be watching it with bated breath. Um, you can see it's got just like a little tiny edge here. I don't know if you can see that. Right here, there's this little tiny edge. Can you see it? Okay. And so sometimes I will take that with my Zacto knife and just trim it off. So now it's nice and straight. You can also use sandpaper and sand it off. Sand the Zacto, paper? Yep. That's interesting. Yep. That professional cake decorator's sandpaper yeah. that you get at Home Depot. <laughs> that would be the one. So if there's any little ridge where it went up over the mold, that's I just trim that off. 
And now you have, you, I mean, they're perfectly the, the size they're supposed to be. Wow. No recutting, you know, needed. That's what I love. Very cool. Okay. And sometimes, like I said, this will have a ridge as well. So, I mean, yeah, if you want, you can take it off. It's not a big deal to take, to remove it. You don't have to. Yep. Everything's going to fit just fine. Don't ever trim this, though, because it'll break. Yep. Ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so be really careful if you're trimming stuff on these on these inside pieces, you know, yep. clean it before you put it in there and it'll be clean when it comes out. But see, no problem with these rails being thin as they are, man. Yeah. Try doing that with a cutter. Yeah. It ain't gonna work. Yeah. Well, it's gonna spread when it cooks. Well, it spreads when it cooks yeah. and then you gotta recut it and then they yeah. break it when you recut it. You know, this, this, is, this works really, really well. Okay? Cool.